大家好，我是 Tracy， 欢迎继续保持收看 Gucci Armani 的电视。Hi, welcome back to another episode of Teaching a Lifestyle in China as a foreigner. Uh, we're going to try something new today. We're going to,、uh, I think we did an interview concerning how well do Chinese people know Africans. But today something came to mind, and、uh, we decided to change our dialogue. So today we're talking about how well do Africans know Africans. Yes. <laughs> I'm from Ghana, and she's from Cameroon. Cameroon. That's Kuki. She also has a channel. So you go and then you check it out. It's just down below the screen. Check it out and subscribe and support her sister. Okay, so how old do you know Ghana? Why are you starting with me? No, I'm just saying that. No. Okay, okay ladies first. Okay, it's fine. No, fine. yeah, I'm. No, ladies、right. first. Okay, your question.、Okay. First, I know Ghana was the first African country to get its independence in 1957. Uh. Second, I know like there was a coup d'état or something like that. I don't know the coup. In Ghana. A coup in Ghana. Yeah, like、really、some、want. guy. Who, he, yes, he watched Kwame Nkrumah. But I think like because of him, like Ghana is what it is today. Okay. All right. I know like there's Accra, Kumasi. Okay. And、um, you know that Accra. You know that Kumasi is the capital of Ghana, right? No, it's Accra. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. That was fast. Yes, of course. <laughs>、uh, okay, I know. I know. Like Obama visited Ghana. Mm-hmm. Because Ghana is supposedly supposed to be a democratic country. No, what I know is that normally a lot of Africans tell us that Ghana is the gateway to Africa. Um, why I don't know because if the Nigerian no, hears you, hear you no, no, if the Nigerian hears you, now let's tell you, no, let's not talk about Nigeria. Is, not, is the is、no. the giant of Africa. <laughs> let's not talk about Nigerians today because with Nigerians we know we all know Nigerians yeah, with filter them off. You see, everything Ghanaian Nigerians want. Like I don't know why Ghanaians like beefing with Nigerians. I mean, like the rest of us, we just watch you guys fight. You know. Okay, so you're telling me. And we enjoy the fight. Now it's not the Ghanaian jello, jello, jello. But do Cameroonians have jello? Of course we do. Oh my god. We do, <laughs> but we, we don't. We don't. We don't come out here saying, "Oh, Cameroonian jello is the best." Because they have Ghanaian jello. Yes, like. What 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 can I say? We're, we're right. No, normally it you see in ascending order. Okay, okay. Like we all talk about someday having a United States of Africa. Africa. But if as Nigerians, Ghana, you're you're trying to rub shoulders like. No, Ghana is very small. You know, Ghana Ghana is almost about thirty million people, right? Nigerians are around one eighty one. But I don't know why two hundred almost. But I don't know why Nigerians still have this perception that Ghanaians. It's not about this. It's not about you. It's not about you. But we are brothers and sisters. Of course. You know, We all are brothers and sisters, but the rest of us just watch you guys. But we jollof, Ghana jollof. I'm not here to debate about、okay. which jollof tastes okay. better. Okay. okay, okay. So I just answered your question about、mm-hmm. Ghana. I may be shallow, but I think I'm still going to beat you. I'm beating you to this. Okay,、right? okay. Think so,、um, so you have to tell me what you know about Cameroon, like everything. I'm not limiting you to any particular field. Okay. Uh, what I Apart from is... football, please. No, Apart from why, football, no, why, why, why? Yes. Why are you taking out football? Because I know that's the only thing you have to say. Okay, I'm not going to even talk football. Okay.、Uh, so I know that Cameroon is also not a very big country, and it has、uh, two different parts. There are some parts that speak French, and the other part that speaks English, right? Travel. And、uh, I also know of.、Um... <laughs> what does that mean?、Mm. I also know of.、Uh... I know Cameroonian Cameroonian women are. Uh, uh, I want to hear that. Like I really want to hear that. <laughs> I know that women from Cameroon are like they are blessed with us, something like that. Yeah. Blessed. Yeah. Like doubt. Oh. Yes. Something like that. Okay. Yes. And、um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Football. <laughs> I knew it. Football. I know some Oleto. I know of、um, Patrick Imboma.、Uh, I also know of、uh, Robert Betsong and other football players. Yes.、Um, so、let me just remind you, like two of the players you called are retired. Of course, no, they, no. Don't get me wrong, but these are the players we grew up to,、oh, okay. looking up to.、Yeah. You understand? Get, yes. Right, but people playing recently, they are not really that vibrant. 
you get it. Mm, okay, I don't want to argue much about that, but it's all right. But I still beat you to it. I no, know much I don't think, no, no. I know about the Volta, the Volta Lake in Ghana. Tell me one. Oh, Volta. Volta. I don't know if it's a river or the lake, but I know that no, it's a source of water. water. Please tell me one source of water, one body of water in Cameroon. Please, just the name. It's River Niger, not in Ghana. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> No, you are Nigerian. Are you calling? No, you are Nigerian. That's not part of. I didn't say that. Hey. Okay, so that's it. So now we're going to leave it to uh, Kelvin to do the voiceovers. Okay. Okay. So he asks his questions, and we answer. Okay. 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 I'm going to get this, and I know you're not getting even one. <laughs> of course, my favorite is Sakoti. Then we have Chatawale. Yeah. And then we have. Uh, can I call four? Okay, go for. Wow. Then we have Kidi. Wow. Okay. And then we have um, Kwame Eugene. Okay. So, Gucci, <laughs> name three artists in Cameroon. I I'm not really a fan of music. Yet. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it will be kind of hard. <laughs> it will be kind of hard to just center artists that okay. are in Cameroon. So, name yeah. three football players in the Cameroon national team recently. R right now? Yeah. Uh, okay, we have somebody like um, Alexander Song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. I you. Am I wrong? Here you go. Alexander Song. Uh, we also have somebody like Charlie. You know what? This this present football is going to play. I'm going to. I'm. You're going to be reclaiming. You're going to be reclaiming. <laughs> yeah. No. I understood what you said. What did you say? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so next question, Cookie. Um, which Ghanaian food have you heard of? Um. Shito. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Shito is just pepper or it's a dish, but I have a friend in Ghana, he wouldn't let me rest. Which Shito? Shito. Okay, so Shito is, uh, how do I even put it? Meat? Something like a sauce. And like a stew, like, you, like yeah, something. They used to eat king rice, gari, everything. everything. Yes. Okay, like something like it. Is it really pepper? Yes, yes, sometimes. If, depending on how you want it. Okay. Yes. Second one. Oh, you, you said how many? Two. Uh, Jolof? Ghanaian Jolof? <laughs> okay. Gucci. Ghanaian Jolof. Oh okay. my god. Cheating. Uh, it's not popular. Oh, ah, but it's, it's, it's okay, in Cameroon. It's really, okay. I know that Cameroonians are also into rice and soup. What soup? There are many kinds of soup. Bitter leaf soup. Uh, exactly. Rice and bitter leaf soup. How, how can you eat rice? Hey! No, no, you are. Is it Vitali more? Um. Hey! Is it Vitali? No, Vitali is Nigerian soup. We have Vitali, um, but how You also have Vitali, like, yes, right now. You, it's not a dish. You, you said a dish. No, I am saying that if, I'm, if I was to be in Cameroon, you today, eat rice and Vitali. Rice and Vitali soup. Jesus Christ, you're so smart. Yeah, exactly. So smart. Yes. Cookie. Yeah. What nationality wouldn't you date? In Africa. In Africa. <laughs> uh, it's a tough one. No, it's not tough. I'll just I'll not like to say what nationality I would date, but I think I can't date a Muslim. What nationality wouldn't you date? Muslim any country that, that that is just Muslim, like Sudan. But any country can be Muslim. So they what nationality Muslim? Okay. What nationality wouldn't you date? I think uh, okay, okay. Please I'm sorry. Let's forget what I said about the Muslim thing. But what nationality? I think I'll, I can't date somebody from Zimbabwe. Okay. Richie, but why you not dating Why are you letting her wait, go away? Wait. She's not stating why she's not dating I will come back to that. Okay. What nationality <laughs> wouldn't she date? I'm married though. What nationality Answer wouldn't she date? What that. nationality won't I date? Um, before you got married. Before I got married. Okay. So somebody from. Hey, tell me. Who beat me for this? <laughs> somebody from. Uganda. Uganda. Yes. Okay. Cookie. Yes. Why wouldn't she date a Zimbabwe? <laughs> uh, uh, 
I've, I've had to relate with some people from Zimbabwe and I just feel like they are so diluted like there are really some basic foods that cross cut across most African countries they don't have it and and when they taste yours they're like it's so nice I'm like bro how can not you have eaten this while growing up how and um what else some other reasons i prefer to keep personal because they'll come for me i i, I don't want to die <laughs> yes they'll come for you just get ready which is yeah Bizo. what about you why wouldn't i date uh somebody from uganda, uganda. okay um growing up i think we had the opportunity to meet some ugandans and uh, we used to have this place that we call just like in places that we say Chinatown. We also have a place that we call Uganda, Uganda town. town. Yes. So the kind of no, I'm not saying. Forgive me for this. I'm not saying that every Ugandan is like that. But what I saw is what I'm sharing here, and the kind of relationship the man and the woman had made me understand that no, I would because always the woman is. The head of the family, the woman does the, the, the woman calls the shot. You get it. So I, I felt like it cut oh, across. But not, growing not. up, I understood that no, these are people. They just came to stay in Ghana, and she thinks that there's nobody there, and she can do whatever she wants to do. So basically, I think that's my reason. So because of one couple, you no. That's why I'm I'm not generalizing it. I'm not saying everybody in Uganda is like that. Did I? But I've met so many in Zimbabwe, so I, uh, my mind is made up. What's your cookie? Mm. Um, if you were to come back as an African, yeah. which country apart from Cameroon would yeah. you prefer? Wow! <laughs> I, I, I want to speak the truth, but I don't want to speak the truth here because somebody, there's somebody that person hears this. No, why am I having a feeling that she wants to be Ghanaian? No, no, no. Are you sure? You know, I, 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 I'm having this funny feeling that No, okay, like, uh, I always have this thing Since I came to China, anybody who sees me who asks, asks me if I am Nigerian See? Because I know, like The reason why, like, why I told him, like, he doesn't know about, about Cameroon Is because I know a lot about many other African countries But you know a lot about, and I know, you know a lot, a lot about, about Ghana through Nigeria. No, no, no no, okay. no, like I've always been very interested in things like out of Canada, like out of out of my space. So I've always been very interested. But it's not, I think this thing, this thing going out there, it's a lot of uh, uh, like a blow to all the Ghanaians out there because I think most Ghanaians do not know anything about aside Canada. Nigeria. And I think uh, Togo, that we don't even know a lot about Togo. The Top of Cameroon. So I, don't, I, don't I, don't even, I think it's something we I need don't to. even blame like, uh, Ghanaians for not knowing about Cameroon because we're not even linked by borders or anything. But we share a border with Nigerians. But trust me, these people are as ignorant or probably more ignorant than you'll ever be. So I, I knew a lot about them. And the reason being, like, they were the closest to us, so I, I kind of had more influence. Um, I, I really loved Lagos, like, way back. I always like, wow. Oh, Lagos is so beautiful. The kind of things that happen there, like people who are in Lagos are totally different from people in the rest of Nigeria. And I've just always tried to relate with Lagos. So if I had a choice, if I had a choice, mm -hmm. I'd like to be Nigerian. a Lagos. Please, not Nigeria. Like just from that place in Nigeria. I see. So one shot from Nigeria. Yeah. So Gucci, what about you? Um I think if I was to come back as uh an african i think i'll choose egypt egypt i would want to be an egyptian okay why do you want to be an egyptian reasons being is that uh i think uh that's the place i would like to say something about egypt though that's the place egypt yeah. today is no longer the same like the ancient egypt no. still that's the place still, i think they have they're not my sentence so. that's they have their reputation that's the place the so the that exactly is. but wait the same the, the egypt of today is not the same egypt is study listen but those people no we still have these things there so you can't take it away from how them. can i explain it like those who are there now okay for example if 
the creator of civilization started in Ghana and you still have Ghanaians there today and all those hieroglyphics and all those things written on the wall I think Ghanaians will still be able to read those today but there's no Egyptian that can read those the present day Egyptians can't read those things are you sure? Mm. because they, they came from somewhere else there are Arabs that invaded okay on record I don't know about yeah. that so we'll check that out yes true. I don't know about that so we'll check that out do your research and then come back from the research. okay I hope you enjoyed this wonderful episode we just wanted to know if truly Africans know about themselves like they claim they do mm. because a lot of people punch Chinese people for not knowing anything about Africa but meanwhile we have different African countries that do not know a thing about African people mm. so this episode is just to inspire you out there that get to know the African country close to you or the African countries you find interest in your culture, their food, their women, their yeah, football, football, everything. Uh, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button, like always, share the video, and keep yourself updated. Bye bye. Keep watching Gucci on Money.